The Pope is 86 years old. Just this morning, he was in front of huge crowds in Vatican City. There was no obvious sign of trouble during the Pope's weekly general audience in St. Peter's Square today. But shortly after he was helped back into the Pope mobile, the 86-year-old pontiff was taken to the hospital. The Vatican says that over the last few days, he's been having difficulty breathing. Common symptoms of, of a respiratory illness, especially if it's an infection, can be cough. Uh, shortness of breath, fevers. The Vatican has not said what kind of lung infection the Pope has, but Dr. Todd Ellerin of South Shore Hospital says it's encouraging that he is still quite active. Recently just traveled last month to uh, the DRC in southern Sudan. So obviously, you know, he's very mobile, very active, and that's a good thing. Pope Francis did have part of his lung removed when he was younger after an infection, and he was last hospitalized roughly two years ago when he had part of his colon removed. Now the world waits for answers about a new infection that could impact events during Holy Week, which starts in just a few days. What we don't know right now is, does he need oxygen? If he does, how much? Um, did his chest imaging show pneumonia? Those are some important details that we don't know. Is he on antibiotics? So there are still a lot of questions about the Pope's health tonight, but the Vatican does say that COVID-19 has been ruled out. We're live in the South End, John Atwater, WCVB News Center 5.